shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Hey YouTube world, it's me Evelyn, coming to you in the spirit of my onesie. I would lift my leg, but I'm coming to you in the spirit of, you know, that good old 4 p.m. sunset. Okay, pack it up, go to bed. Dinner is at three. If you haven't watched my video from a couple months ago where I laugh at my 2020 goals, this is made in that same spirit, in that same vein. I'm going to be reacting to my vision board that I that I made. I made a vision board. I made a vision board f physically, not on Pinterest. You know what I'm saying? So I purchased print magazines. Okay, you know them. You know them things is six bucks a pop. I sourced an adhesive to represent my hopes and dreams. <laughs> I've also made other videos about vision boards. Um, I'll put them in the atmosphere, show them on the screen, and I really suggest that you go back and watch those, you know? Different times, different Evelyn's, same desire to achieve. This is my vision board. I have on here, okay, let's really dissect this. This is just so, the aspiring is just assaulting me. I have this girl sitting crisscross applesauce on a yoga mat and I pasted some Z's coming out of her to symbolize that I wish to sleep. I did that. <laughs> My vision came to life in maybe the worst way possible. I'd be asleep. My sleep patterns are off. I'd be going to sleep at four. I'd be waking up at 11. Sometimes I go to sleep in the middle of the day. I got a onesie on. It's about 2 p.m. I might pack it up after this. I still have like a weird relationship with rest and I'm working on it. Making rest the beginning instead of making rest the reward at the end. It just, it just say go. I didn't go. Where was I trying to go? Oh, to the moon and back. I think what that's representing is that I wanted to expand my mind and my imagination, you know what I'm saying? Um, to go to creative places that I haven't gone to before. I do want to go to the moon for other reasons. I want to I wanna escape to the moon. <laughs> I have here, um, this is like a brown hand and a beige hand giving each other a book. I think that was supposed to signify a collaboration. Hey girl, reach out and touch girl. Um, what you working on girl? Again, going back to that whole collaboration, I wanted coworkers, I wanted to be part of something bigger than myself type feeling. I really wanted to be in the mix. You know what I'm saying? And in 2020, being in the mix looks a lot different. Uh, it's a lot of Zooms. A lot of y'all reached out to me when I made my video about how I wish I had coworkers. And you were like, yo, me too. How can we create a space where we can like hang out together quietly while we do our work? I would love to figure out how to do something like that. I, I don't know. Tell me if that's something that interests you. And maybe, I don't know, maybe we can dream. Me, me, I'm a dreamer. Despite, despite it all. Now here, <laughs> the things that past Evelyn chose. This is just a paper with a check mark, okay? And I think that's supposed to symbolize the completion of a, of a written text. Um, I was supposed to write a pilot this year. I have a main character. I have her family. I'm still figuring out who she is or why she is. So it's like we're making progress. Definitely not, definitely not a check mark on a pilot. This is not fun. <laughs> we got film. It didn't happen. Um, I also made the mistake of submitting Hello Tim to a film festival that doesn't allow submissions from films that were already on the internet. So that was cute. That was a lovely waste of 50 bucks. I did not read enough. Anyway, underneath that, I have a black girl doing a yoga pose on books. I did have a goal to be flexible, but if you watched my 2020 goals video, 
<laughs> you know how that went. And I think the books was just me trying to um trying to read more. As always, I bought a Kindle this year. I got it off Facebook Marketplace. Um, and then I couldn't find my library card. So, but I recently found it, like literally in November. So I've had a can an empty Kindle for months, the better part of 2020. Oh, and then I have this picture. The reason I have Nicole Byer and Sashir Zamata is because they, they still represented that dynamic duo, that, you know, creative partner, that person that you wanna make things with, you know, coworkers. Again, I think this all just means I'm lonely. <laughs> I'm creatively lonely. Mm. In the corner here, I have feelings. I think that was to release them. I want to release those feelings and, you know, in 2020, I celebrated my one year anniversary of going to therapy. Also in the corner, I think the corner, the fringes of this vision board are very interesting. It just says, get off the internet. That's coming up here in a bit. I am planning to get off the internet and to come back with a better sense of doing exactly what it is I want to do. So when it comes to YouTube, I did a solid year of uploading consistently. Since December 2019, I've been posting regularly to YouTube a couple videos a month, anywhere from like three to eight. This year of doing that has taught me a lot. Making videos regularly was cool. It's also not for me. I think what's for me is to produce, release, hibernate. Produce, release, hibernate in a batch form. Um, and yes, sis, that's called a web series. I think I am done, question mark, with one-offs, one-off videos. And so I work at a series, you don't be seeing me. I release the series, that's when you be seeing me. It's over, so you don't be seeing me. So yeah, the vision board is full of things having to do with writing. We have a typewriter, we have a girl writing, we have pen and ink, we have more, another pen, an, another ink. Black people voguing? I think they're voguing? I think, it was, <laughs> I think it was just to be like, oh my gosh, express yourself, sis. Creative. Okay, the words creative, fantasies. It, I, was just, I was just trying to conjure up the imagination. You know what I'm saying? Evoke a sense of go inside your mind. So right here it says the power of making a decision. And it took me a year. It took me 11 months, but I have made a decision. I have made decisions on some things and hopefully you will see the fruits of those decisions later <laughs> I don't I don't know when later I feel like a lot of the time I am doing the second best thing because striving for the best thing is um it's a little vulnerable you know those middle-aged dudes who are like listen to my mixtape they are striving for the best thing and what do we do we make fun of them <laughs> but I'm trying to remember my mantra of don't be afraid to be seen trying. I have Regina King on here. Y'all know how I feel about Regina King. I talked about that in a video if she wanna pop up on the screen. I have this girl with like green hair and I think it was just, you know, creative vibes. You know what I mean? And while I don't have green hair, I did learn to do my own hair. And that literally, if I just take a picture of myself with, with these twists, put it on here, I will have, that's my greatest accomplishment of 2020. Oh, and here I have, it says um, 30th, because I turned 30. <gasps> that's what 2020 feel like. I would just like to make some space for like gratitude. You know what I mean? I am healthy, um, I've, I took a COVID test and I'm negative, you know what I'm saying? So, when I look at this vision board, I don't necessarily feel disappointed. In a weird way, hindsight being 2020, I'm proud of myself for knowing what it is that I wanted. And I've had a couple conversations with different people. They all have said, well, you seem to know what you wanna do. 
And it's like, then how come it hasn't been done? It's called work. <laughs> the uh, the uh, difficulty comes when you have to do, when you have to go. It's the execution that is uh, challenging. Shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna let voiceover Evelyn do the job. Squarespace gives you a powerful and beautiful online platform to create your own website. I use it as a landing page where you can learn more about me, what I do, and how we can work together. There are blogging tools that allow you to share and schedule out your posts, Squarespace email campaigns to help your business stand out, and if you scroll to the bottom of my website or click the link in the video description box, you can sign up for my email newsletter. I'll slide into your inbox on a monthly-ish basis with exclusive content, as they say. Stuff that makes you think, makes you laugh, and throw in some doodles for funsies. And you can authenticate with your social media profiles, which lets you auto-post to Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr. Visit squarespace.com for a free trial, check things out, play around, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Evelyn from the internets to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Let me know in the comments below if you made a vision board, uh, if you shredded that hole. <laughs> Let me know what was on y'all's vision boards and I will see you on the internet somewhere.